to my channel. It's Tia. I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Although I usually upload every single day, so you're going to want to subscribe. Today we're doing updates on Free Tress Equal Wigs. And so the first one we have is from their newer line, the Light Lace Front Wig. Light Lace Front Line. And this is LFW-003. I have her in the color four. You can see the full review up on her. Um, I have to say I've actually worn her quite a bit. She is wanting to tangle a little bit. Um, and I noticed like she does need washed, which isn't unusual. It's just I am able to wear wigs a few more times before having to wash them and I don't know if it's because the density you know it's not a super thick density it's a more realistic density which is nice um, but I don't know if that's causing me to have to wash her sooner than I would normally but other than that um this is a comfortable wig I really enjoy it I think that it's nice not 100% sold on the number four coloring but that's just me um, but other than that, I think this is a great wig. So I would suggest getting this one if this is something that you would like. Okay, next up we have another one from that same light lace front line. And this is Miss LFW-001, same color number four. Um, so <clears throat> I have some pros and cons with this. The con that I have is what I have with most curly synthetic wigs. You know, they are hard to manage. They don't last super long. I love the volume of this. Now, if you were to wet this, it would get a little bit, you know, less big. So I do think it's versatile. One positive, though, is if you see the way that these curls are, they're not super tight curls. So I do feel like this is going to last longer than a traditional uh, curly synthetic unit. So I do absolutely like that. Um, just like the last one, though, I find, feel like she already needs to be washed and I didn't wear her that much. And I don't know if it's something different in the, the fibers or what have you. I am getting a little bit of shedding with this wig, but there was uh, some matting at the nape in the back. I sort of raked the comb through, so I think that's what it's from. But yeah, overall, I would say that this is one of the better curly synthetic wigs. And just to know that it's just like any other curly synthetic wig, it's not going to last as long as more of a wavy or straight unit would. Okay, and last but not least, we have an older wig, and this is Tansy, and I have her in the color SOH627613. Overall, I really like older free chest equal wigs and I actually do like the coloring the only thing I don't like about this is just that the texture on the bottom is just very fuzzy and frizzy and the bangs I think are like kind of short for this length I almost feel like it needs to be like this length or something I think that would be much better of a length for this wig is if it was sort of a, a mid-level. I'm just not one for bangs in my face. I don't really like deep set uh, right or left parting. Um, so for me, I wouldn't be keeping this one. It's not gonna last as long just because of these curls. I am gonna wash it to revive the curls, um, but this is definitely one that could use a nice trim. It would come together nicely with a trim, um, but I just have too many wigs for that. Although I don't really like to get rid of my older Free Trust Eco wigs because I love them. This one I probably would let go. So this one's cute. She's not going to last you too long um, unless you cut her, which I still think would be, you know, really cute option to do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's what I have for you for these Free Trust Equal wigs. Um, if there's any other Free Trust Equal wig that you would like to see an update on, please put that down below. If there's another Free Trust Equal wig you would like me to review, also put that down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, thanks so much. Oh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.